All right, guys, this is my Team 3CC Synthol line. Um, this is a, uh, a needle that I'm going to use to inject it with. This is an 18 gauge syringe I used to draw. Um, why? Because it's easy, it's fast. I do not shoot with this needle, I draw with this needle. Boom. So, I'm going to put that down here. So, you're going to put it in here. I'm going to draw three cc's. As you see, it's drawing. There's three. I'm going to pull that out. Just pull it down like that. I'm going to do two synthol shots, one in each peck. And I'm just going to take that off. Then I'm putting the, uh, the 18 gauge again back on another syringe. Upside down. Put it in. Pull down. Draw exactly three cc's C's up. Pull out, pull it down so you, all the oil in the needle comes down. Don't want to waste any of that precious oil. Put this here. And there we go. Here it is. Here's my gear for the day. I got uh, one cc of Test E250, one cc of Mastron Anenthate 200, one cc of EQ350, um, half cc of Trend E100, and a half cc of uh, Trend Hex 100, and one cc of Primo, which a total of five cc's. If I push this up, it'll be a total of five cc's, and this will be going in my glute, as you guys will see. I got one more. One of my favorite drugs, but also one of the most painful drugs, test suspension, guys. You will fill this within 45 minutes of injection. It's perfect to do post-workout, I mean pre-workout, an hour, about an hour pre-workout. It's gonna be great for weak body parts. I use it on like legs and chest day. Um, basically, I'll be shooting this in my biceps. Uh, test suspension, in my opinion, works best when you put it in a small body part, why? It's not going to hurt as much. You're always moving your arms. There's always constant blood in the muscle you're moving around. If you shoot it in something like your glute where there's no blood going on, it's going to hurt really bad the next day. The more you move, the more you better, the more blood in the muscle. Um, it's going to hurt less, okay? So you'll see me shoot this too. I never eat these, but I'm like, fuck it, YOLO. Okay guys, I'm going to shoot 100 milligrams of Mastron and 100 milligrams of Trenace right now as well. Well, maybe. That's what you call a perfect shot. And I just was like, Alright, guys, with test suspension, there's thicker crystals in here. This video is live. There is a 50 50 chance this will clog. I'll have to change needles and shoot it again. I'm going to put the hot water on. I'm running under hot water. As you see, I have my synthol syringes right here, which I'll be shooting next. I leave a little air at the top, so when I shoot in my bicep, there's air at the top. People are like, oh my god, air bubbles. Guys, when you're an inch deep in your, in your, in your bicep, there's no vein. You're not going to be in a vein. You'll be fine. What you're going to do is when you go in and you push, you're pushing the air through so everything clears the needle. So you only leave a little bit of air left in there, so it pushes all the compounds that you're shooting, all the crystals, and you're not wasting any of what you're shooting. I'm big on no waste. So as this starts to warm up, I'm gonna run it through. Get the crystals nice and warm. Shake it. Like I said, guys, this may clog, and I may have to shoot it again. I like to put it up like this. You see how it clogged? I'm gonna aspirate. 
usually sometimes it'll, it'll, pull, it'll push in, it'll pull some of the chemicals and it'll continue to push through. As you see, it's slowly pushing in. This is probably the, the biggest thing, to sh the biggest pain in the ass to shoot actually. I'm gonna come down here. It's clogged, I'm gonna keep trying though. Pull back. And it pushed through guys. So with my magic, playing with it, there's gonna be a little bit left. I'm gonna pull back again and uh, push through. That's basically it, and you'll see I'll pull out. You see, I'm gonna see the thing. I'm weird guys, I don't like to waste anything. I'm gonna pull out, turn this off. You're gonna see a little bit of a little little dot. I'm gonna massage it. Like I said, I'm gonna fill this drug within an hour. Probably get a little horny. And that's good to go. I'm gonna grab another alcohol swab. And guys, I'm gonna say this now. I usually do synthol post workout, but since uh, we got the filming crew here and we're going to the gym, and then we'll be coming back. I'm gonna shoot it pre. Not a big deal. So I want you want to go upper mid chest. So down here, I don't really recommend chest, but if you know what you're doing, you want to go about an inch down from the collarbone, right in the middle of the upper pec. You're gonna grab this. Go in the mirror, make sure you're about an inch down, and go right in, guys. Don't be like, oh, you know, like going all slow. Just pound it in. And then you're just gonna start injecting slowly until the full three cc's is in. Like I said, I'm pushing it in right now. We're about a cc in. And like I said, uh, you know, synthol will build a little bit of scar tissue. Um, it's probably the least of your, least of your worries um, in the bodybuilding world. We got about a cc and a half left. And like I said, for my clients and stuff, I don't really send chest diagrams. Um, but if people are experienced enough, I'll tell them how to do their chest. It's pretty simple. You want to do this about three times a week for the first three weeks and about two times a week after that, after the loading phase. All right, guys, so it looks like I got the full three cc's in, mid chest. I'm gonna grab my bloody reusable towel that I've reused for about a month now. I'm gonna pull out and apply pressure and just massage a little bit. Boom, done. Then we're gonna do the other pack. So, I'm just gonna take this one off, like that. Push up to the top. Use the brand new alcohol swab, or just the brand new one. Use the brand new alcohol swab. Remember guys, upper chest in the middle. If you go lower, there's too much nerves and it'll clump and you're gonna feel like it's gonna feel like shit. You wanna stretch it out a little bit, see where you're about to shoot, come right in here and go right in. And then you're gonna push the plunger down. Like I said guys, don't put a ton of pressure on the plunger. Put a decent amount of pressure in. Now, my scar tissue in my biceps has gotten so much now when I do synth on my, my arms, I have to use a 22 gauge. These are 23 gauges and eventually if the scar tissue gets enough in my chest, I might have to go to a one inch 22 gauge as well. This one's pushing in quite nicely. We're almost done. We are fully penetrated. 
and fully injected. And we're going to pull out real nicely and apply pressure right away and move in circular motions. And that is the tail of the tape, guys. That's how easy Synthol is. Very quick. Very. You don't use a lot. Like you see those dudes in India that get give Synthol a bad rap because their arms are all fucked up and shit. But it's as simple as that. You're gonna get a little blood. That's normal. Sit there, massage it. Blood is normal, guys. You're shooting. You're going through blood vessels at the very top of the muscle. Usually, right right when you penetrate. That's normal, but you're good to go. And I'm gonna hit the side chest for you all. A little bloated right now. It's all good. I'm gonna pack quite a bit of shit today. So guys, I usually mark the, the insulin syringes. This says HGH frag. We'll age for HGH, full, F for full statin, and I have a few others in here. Um, I'm just gonna come in here and get in my fridge. I'm gonna pull out the stuff I'm using. Actually, 200 MCGs, and we're gonna do 100 in each pack pre workout. That's that. And then this is gonna be five I use of insulin in the log. And I have a script for Humalog, so we are good to go. Put that right there, so it's all done. And then the last one, guys. This is going to be my Chinese GH, which I shoot pre-workout as well. And we're going to do five units, five I use of this, which should be a full syringe, which is about that. Perfect. And this since it doesn't fit in here. Well, this one actually fits, it fits this time. So that'll be cool. I'm gonna come in here, grab a little cooler pack. Boom. Like that. 
make sure it's in the corner, like this one, or however best it fits usually. This is fine. Close this, and uh, basically just wrap this up. Boom, good to go. Put these back in the fridge, and we're getting juicy. Theatric specialist, camera the crew, care children need. Big Close Juice Daddy. See all the ways we're with you at Nemours.org. Workout, just got done to the gym. We're gonna get a post workout meal in. Here's the HGH fragment. This is gonna go sub Q. And this is the full of statin. I'm gonna do 50 MCGs into each peck. Perfect, and let's go eat, guys. Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. They don't play. See, so these are like carrots and stuff. Yeah, it's uh, the shrimps over here. Okay, cool. Some vegetables. Boston, what are you eating? Tell me what you're eating. Shrimp tempura with some veggie tempura and, and onion rings, it looks like. Like a, with the sauce. Is this your off season diet? Both of gas mileage. Bullshit. Three ounces of chicken. 